I'm gonna put the first post in and just kind of use that as an anchor point for my line. So I've got everything marked out, but I'm gonna put the post in and then I'll run my strings between my corner posts. I just call this kind of like a figure four method. I just uh, string it off to each one of these posts and then we get the post. The post will be exactly on the inside of that box. You can use batter boards to dial this in. That works just fine, but I find that with fencing, you know, it's not the same as like building a house or something. If you're an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch off, it's not that big a deal. So again, figure four, my post is gonna go right here and these can be adjusted if they need to be. So this is my eight foot mark and the most important thing about this is that my post is exactly in the middle. So I'm gonna have an eight foot two by four coming this way and eight foot one going that way. So you want it really centered in. So uh, the most, most important mark is this line. I make it long just because my hole is gonna dig away some of that stuff. And then I wanna note where my post goes. Same thing on down the road, that's 16. You got six here, then you got this four by 10 bed, then you got six, and you got the four by 10 bed, and they kind of go in a rotation, you know? It's like a little bit of funk going on. There is gonna be an arbor here. Just imagine arbor. Then there'll be a shadowing, echoing arbor over there. So I just need to bury that last post. You can see it's like Postville here. Everything's in the ground post-wise. All right, so you can see that some stuff happened. Raised beds are in, I built those a few days ago. Then it rained for a few days and I've been away. So anyway, I'm back at it. I got the sill plate in all the way around. I don't know if you guys have done this before, but you know, instead of like measuring every post, you just make a story pole. You know, this guy's got my measurements on here. So this section is the hog wire. This is my framing member, two by four, another section of hog wire. You just go around the posts and use this dude.
So that's the basic gist of the panels. You know, they're framed in kind of with like an internal frame, panel goes in, then there's an external frame. You could router a groove or table saw uh, cut a groove in there, but I, would, I don't want to add any water infiltration into my actual rails. So this way you keep the water out of the actual framing members. And let's see, I've done most of them. And then when I, once I get done with the bottom ones, I'll do the same thing around the top. So it's going to be a six foot high deer fence. What I do, if I'm putting in a bunch of internal rails, I'd rather not put in internal rails. You know, I'd rather put them on the post, but whatever. If you're doing it internally, I'll put a screw on one end all the way around. There's a screw on one end all the way around. That way I will rest the board on the screw and then fix it over here. Then come down here, fix it, pull the screw and keep going. All right, total mid fence status report. I'm kind of liking the way it's looking. It's got a nice, uh, got a nice thing going on with it. You know, you can get a uh, hog wire that's just square, just square holes, but I prefer this stuff. It's got a little bunny action, bunny defenses down below. So it's got tighter spaces getting bigger and then bigger getting tighter. So it's got that kind of symmetry. And I gotta put this panel on. And then a big old gate's gonna go down there. I finally put this up on sawhorses. So, you know, it's not a gate that's meant to be open like every day or something like that. But, you know, once a season, he's going to bring his tractor in here with more topsoil and stuff. So it's just on these farm hinges. You can pop this off if you wanted to. It just slides up and then I'll put a couple latches over on this side. All right, so here's my latch. I like the look of this when I bought it. I thought it was good, but getting a little bit of wiggle action. I think it would be better off with a dowel rod right here. You know, just like a peg or a bolt or something just to really lock it in and you just pull that guy out. All right, so similar to the bottom, I've got my screw four inches down on each side, and I'm just gonna push up in the center mark, and I'll create my parabola, my kind of arc, parabolic arc, I don't know what to call it, but it's a little different in the middle. It's a little tighter in the middle, and a little broader on the outside. That'll just give it, you know, you don't want that perfect circle kind of thing, wagon wheel look. You want it to be a little open on the ends.
on one foot centers and it just nipped over here at a 30 degree angle with a little bit left so it doesn't have a sharp edge so nothing too complicated six inch overhang on each end all right so that wraps up the arbors and i guess it wraps up the garden All right, thanks for checking out the project. I'll see you in the next one.